Hello friends, in this video we will prepare sodium bismuthate starting from bismuth metal. For this preparation we will need 17 grams of bismuth metal, 40 milliliters of 67% nitric acid, 40 grams of sodium peroxidisulfate or sodium persulfate, 120 grams of sodium hydroxide to make a 10 molar solution of it. Start by taking 17 grams of fresh bismuth metal in a 500 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. A magnetic stirring bar was also placed in the flask and the flask was placed in a hot plate stirrer. A rubber tubing was connected from the Erlenmeyer flask to a gas wash bottle. The gas wash bottle contains silica gel. The adapter from the flask was removed and 20 milliliters of 67% nitric acid was added to it. Immediately the reaction commences with evolution of loads of brown colored nitrogen dioxide fumes. I used the gas wash bottle to trap nitrogen dioxide gas and prevent it from escaping into the environment. But due to the enormous amount of nitrogen dioxide being formed, some of the gas escaped out. Nitrogen dioxide is toxic, so make sure you do this experiment in a fume hood or in a well ventilated area. Stirring was continued so that all the bismuth metal granules would react with the acid. What's happening here is the formation of bismuth nitrate as per the following equation. It is not shown here but when the nitrogen dioxide production slows down, the remaining 20 milliliters of nitric acid was added and the reaction was carried forward to completion. Finally, when the reaction dies down, the gas trap system was removed and around 40 milliliters of water was added to dilute it. Do not add too much of water as this could make the bismuth oxynitrate and this forms a white precipitate. Now in another 1000 milliliter beaker, 120 grams of sodium hydroxide was taken and a stirring bar was placed inside. 300 milliliters of water was added to the beaker using a graduated cylinder. The dissolution of sodium hydroxide in water is extremely exothermic. Be careful while handling hot concentrated sodium hydroxide solution as it is extremely corrosive. Now the previous Erlenmeyer was taken and 40 grams of sodium persulfate was added to it. If it feels like it is not dissolving, a little extra water could be added carefully. Finally, the bismuth nitrate and sodium persulfate solution is added to the 10 molar sodium hydroxide. Immediately, a yellow precipitate crashes out. Now heat the contents to boiling and maintain the boiling for 30 minutes. This makes sure that the reaction is complete. Finally, the precipitate was collected using a Buchner funnel. The particles are very fine and easily clogs the filtration system causing a lot of time for filtration to complete. So be patient. Once it is dried in the Buchner funnel, keep the solid in vacuum desiccator for 2 days alongside an hydrous calcium chloride. Here is the dry product. It was then pulverized to a fine powder. This is the final result of sodium bismuthate. The final yield that I got was 23.85 grams. So that's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed this video. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links for both of them are given in the description. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. Once again, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos. Thank you.